What is good, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with the overall market and talk about some very important levels. I'm also going to do a reaction to how the data may affect the markets in real time that's coming out in just about two minutes. But let me first say that I'm not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo and deposit $100, you're guaranteed five free stocks, but in $1,000, you're guaranteed 15. Anyways, for Tesla, we saw some very, very strange price action. Tesla got this very, very nice pump all the way up to this 175 area, which is where they grabbed some liquidity. Then Tesla came all the way back down to about 170. And now Tesla's kind of slowing just a bit as our market is just kind of stagnating. And Tesla's kind of stuck right here at 171 as of right now. But in just about uh, a minute and 15 seconds, we have some big data coming out. So we'll see how Tesla reacts to this with the market. I'll be talking about that live as this ends up coming out. So before I talk about that, let's talk about some news. We have some news coming out that the battery ma maker is going to be supplying machinery at the Tesla Kika factory in Nevada. Uh, that's actually a very, very good deal. And there's been a lot of talk right now about how this is going to be very, very good for the contributions to be made for them to roll out vehicles under $25,000. Uh, that could be very, very good for them, especially if they do end up expanding in this Kika factory right over here. And we've been seeing some very, very good uh, uh, relationships being made right over here. We can see that uh, other companies out there are getting involved in this battery production, even other companies in China. And overall, this has been more helpful for Tesla, and these deals are actually not quite bad. There's also been some talk about how uh, the overall used EV prices are dropping a bit. Uh, that's making a lot of headlines right over here. Uh, there is some depreciation right now because of how supply and demand are being impacted, but we'll see how things go from here. Anyways, we have the Dallas Fed Manufacturing Index report coming out in just about a minute. And also, Fed, uh, the Fed speaker is going to be Cook. So we'll see how this affects the markets. I'm going to keep Tesla right over here. Let's actually switch over to two screens real quick. We actually have the QQQ on the right, and then we have Tesla on the left. I'm going to be watching, do we get a balance? Do we end up dropping? We can see the data is about to come out. Market is starting to sink for now. We'll see if we get a rebound or not watching for it we'll see what kind of reaction we end up getting and for now we're actually seeing buyers trying to step in uh tesla's kind of flat right here actually compared to the qqq so you can see tesla's a little bit of lackluster uh we're testing our 50 ema on tesla uh still kind of holding up and you can see how the qqq is being bought up right over here showing a bit more strength whereas tesla is the one that's not it's just kind of flat right now so if we do get some kind of rebound on tesla we want to see try to get back above 171 as the stat is being released, I think it should be out like right now. So manufacturing was not the strongest right now. We actually saw this index a little bit lower than what the forecast was. Uh, but despite that, uh, we're getting a pretty positive reaction from the triple Q. Triple Q is trying to push up for 445. If we do break this, watch 445.28. If we break past that, our next try is going to be 446. Uh, for Tesla, we're just kind of shuffling right now at 170, kind of flat right now. So like I said before, a little bit lackluster from Tesla. So we'll see if we can get more buyers to step in, at least for the QQQ. And right now, uh, QQQ is kind of shuffling at our 20 EMA, a little bit stuck right now. Just waiting to see if we get a bigger reaction. Sometimes it could take a couple of minutes. Uh, we're seeing some buyers trying to defend it as we're testing resistance at 445. Tesla, of all things, kind of popped and dropped. So this is how they grab liquidity. This pop was a little bit bigger than what I was actually expecting in the morning. So now we're just kind of stuck right here at this 170 area. Still not really doing a whole lot. Uh, if we start to see the QQQ and SPY kind of like reject right here, Tesla would like to get dragged down even lower. So Tesla's not doing that great. We did get downgraded from Mizuho analysts, and that's not the best of news. So with that news coming out, Tesla had this fake move where it kind of popped and then came back down. It may just continue to shuffle at this 170 area for some time. On the other hand, the QQQ is also shuffling just under 445. It's trying to push a little higher, kind of stuck right here as well. So not getting as big of a push as it could have gone before. Uh, but it's not looking that bad. It's still holding up decently, I would say. Switching over to SPY, we're testing our 20 EMA around this 520.5 area. If we do break past this, we could be closer to 521. Otherwise, we're going to be coming back down. And uh, we're showing some weakness at this 20 EMA right here. We'll have to watch and see if we get this projection. Uh, so far, not that great. And you guys can see how this is affecting Tesla. So on SPY starts sinking lower right here. You can see how reactive Tesla is going to be. Same thing with the QQQ. Then we also have Apple looking kind of weak, barely holding 170. If we lose this, a bigger drop is likely going to be coming all the way down to 169. Apple looks kind of weak. And then finally, NVIDIA is at resistance right here on the right side of my screen. 
barely at 960. If we get this rejection, uh, it could come back down towards 954. And then eventually we have 950. Uh, but it's not rejecting that hard. It's kind of like stuck right now. So it's showing more strength in stocks like Tesla. So just be very careful. We'll have to see how things go. But as of right now, for the markets, uh, you know, we're trying to get a little rebound. We're kind of rejecting a little bit. So the market's still kind of range bound overall. QQQ is not in the, the strongest of places. It's, it was trying to rebound a bit. Still kind of stuck right here after, after this reaction. We'll see if we could try to get back above 445 later. Otherwise, we're just kind of stuck right here. And if we fail to break past this resistance at the 20 EMA, there's going to be a risk of rejection. So we'll see how it goes. Still waiting for that reaction. Sometimes they take a little bit of time. But you could see how Tesla is the one that's kind of reacting a bit more. We're barely holding 170, showing a little bit of weakness. We're going to be watching to see if it could hold this. If it doesn't, there's going to be a bigger risk of downside too. So Tesla's looking kind of weaker. The QQQ has some potential. So does SPY. NVIDIA is holding up well, and Apple is showing weakness. That's your super, super quick technical update. I went over a couple of pieces of news that came out, and with this data release, we'll watch and see if there's like a delayed reaction. Do we try to push higher? We'll see how it goes. But if anything, don't forget, guys, Tesla's looking a little bit weak. We had some bad news, so it is what it is. All right, guys, uh, thank you for listening. Have a great day, and peace out.